section where no decision, where no decision was taken, uh, not even a proposal to take a decision. Also, the, the, the government share of, of uh, about a, more or less a detailed report of uh, of this uh, regional committee submitted by uh, by both the two committee from Makhlai uh, and Assam, and they give us a detail of villages where uh, most of the where some of the villages say that they uh, want to go to Assam, some of the villages want to go in Assam, and all those things, but uh, there's no decision on the meeting, and, uh, and a few uh, grey area also that we have rest, which are still left in confusion, because uh, the first confusion and the first grey area is that, okay, villager, they may decide to go to state A or state B, but what about the, uh, what about the area, like forest area and, uh, and, uh, and vacancy land? There, there, are no, there, there, there are no people in this area, so how will you decide that? That is the uh, first thing. Secondly is that we have made our, clear very, uh, have made our point very clear from day one that the five uh, principles agreed, like the historical factor, shift, uh, convenience and other things, uh, should be the only guiding principle when it comes to settlement. Other things like adverse person, developmental and, and constitutional boundaries should never be the, uh, should never be the uh, criteria or the principle that, that you want to go for this. So, but uh, it seemed like uh, the few area where uh, adverse uh, portion also has been uh, has been uh, has been uh, utilized for settlement of this boundary. So, this is something that we have to uh, think properly because uh, I can give you uh, an example. A Rabha or uh, or any people who is a tenant under the Hima Nongspung non uh, non Samship, how can they decide to go to Assam? That's cannot be done, no? Kum no mender un uba shuan shong pap hak tu ka jaka jo ka jong jong kima ki basim ye kilan tu kumben na ki hima ki e tang no mar bakilong link to asam un rai no baki bende si asam kata te ka bomalong. The fear, the problem is that the moment uh, if this uh, area go to Assam, especially to Rirai or community land where it's owned by the Hima, we don't have a section do that we can continue this no spoon ship or no clouds which cannot go and do administration in Assam. That is very clear. If they remain, if the area remain in Makhlia, they can uh, have uh, administrative power. But the moment they, they are out of Makhlia, they're gone. That's, uh, that land will be purely belong to the government of Assam land. So these are the grey area and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the other thing where uh, there are uh, villages where uh, they want to go to Assam, example, but surrounded by villages uh, who want to go to Makhlia. So how did you uh, decide those area? So these are the thing that uh, has not been. Uh, uh, these are the thing that has not been uh, decided. So we will also have a, a, a second thought on this. So we, any solution accordingly will uh, meet the government in this. But how relevant is this meeting? Uh, it is, it is no, relevant. No, it is relevant no, because complete, information. No, no, no. Let me complete. Not complete. Not complete. Not complete. How relevant is this meeting? Keeping in mind that both the states have almost finalized the border agreement. The state has uh, submitted the report to the Home Ministry, but they have not been <coughs> finalized. Signature of the same has not been done. And most importantly, the uh, report of the GSI, Jolkal Saru Yonje, so is also uh, vetted. And uh, the last authority who will decide will be the uh, government of India through the Ministry of Home Affairs. So it's very much uh, relevant. And after all, also, we, the NGO, also have not agreed to what the government said. We have raised uh, several issues which the government has tried to uh, clarify. We, from day one, from HYC, we work together with uh, with Imship, with uh, uh, with village, uh, Kasi village, and the council. So this is the thing that we have once again have to go back to them to uh, to have a second thought on all this. So it won't be easy for us also to take a call on this matter as of now. And uh, I don't know whether the government they want to go ahead after this meeting or not. But we feel that it should not go ahead. After this meeting, we need to uh, re-discuss. We need to be uh, to go back to those villages and to those border area to have a, a talk again with this, uh, especially with the uh, Hima and uh, the Basnong in this border area. So this is a matter of life and death to uh, uh, to the, uh, the indigenous people in the state of Mugla. It just cannot be doing like this just because the will of the uh, tenants say that we want to go to this side. You cannot. Uh, we feel that it's not uh, advisable to even consider that.
Don't you think the consultation should have been done much before? Now too late. Consultation was done by us also with the uh, IMA. Consultation was done in the past uh, almost uh, 50 years. There's no doubt. If you go to the government proceeding, lots of consultation, lot of committee, lot of original committee. The, the three subcommittee already formed by the government, so doing consultation. So this, uh, but as of now, we want to know what is the report, what is the, uh, 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 like, uh, how can I say, what is that boundary is supposed to be, from which village, from, from which area, so that kind of thing that we are discussing today, but there's a lot of gray area, still a lot, lot of gray area in this, uh, uh, in the report, so we, uh, as of now, if I see, make a point very clear that till date, until unless we go back and have a second discussion with the stakeholder, real stakeholder, let's say, the council and villagers, we will not take a call on this. 